corner talking to yeah. um, Hughes, but like me, Josh is like close, but like um, yesterday, bro, and me, Josh were talking about like how we so like um, like the same type of guy, bro, because we both like laid back and chill, chill, but we think of like, uh, like, but we be like in meetings, bro, we hear something, but we just look. Yeah, but just look at each other, like, yeah. So, like, yeah, man, it was huge for me, bro, for um, him to just be there for me for the whole time. And what's been your favorite thing of playing under AP for the, for the second half of the season? Um, everything, bro. Like, AP is just that guy, bro. Like, bro, he makes it fun for us. For us. Like, it's just not, um, like, just going to work every day, just head down and all that stuff. Like, he, yeah, like, bro, just get out there and have fun, man. Like, yeah, like, it's ball. But, like, yeah, that's it. Cool. Thanks a lot. Yes, sir. No here, congratulations. Yeah. They've been covering this team for a little while, and um, I just feel like this feels different. This end of the season feels different. Yeah. I mean, the last year. Um, am I right to, su to suggest that? Yeah, it's the best, <clears throat> best morale of a team that I've been on. You know, where we've been eliminated from the playoffs, for sure. You're never happy when the season ends at any point, unless you know. Typically, only one team is happy in the end. But um, just based off where this team is at right now, and the, and the feeling about where we're headed, um, it's definitely a better feeling. Why is that? Do you think? Oh, I mean, because we got a lot to look forward to. I think you know we've shown that we that we can be a, a really good team, and um, you know, like a really good team. So I think just the the potential of this squad is, is what's kind of keeping our minds in a good place. Devonta, you guys have been adamant that you know you want to see Antonio Pierce and Chad Kelly get retained. Do you feel like today was sort of a statement that that's what needs to happen? For sure. I mean, I think they've done a lot of work. I don't think they necessarily needed today, but this was a, a stamp. I mean, you hear the you hear the fans, you hear the hear the crowd, and, and the way they respond to it. And um, you know, it's, it's clear that he's changed the culture. You know, and it's uh, definitely deserving. Have you ever seen something like that where the fans have changed the coach's name like that? I haven't. That's the first time I've seen. I've, I've heard him. Boo coaches for sure. But I've never, never heard it like that before. It's usually a quarterback situation or something like that. But and how much of the testament is that to him about how much he's not only galvanized you but the fan base as well? Yeah, I mean he, like I said, he embodies what it means to be a Raider. He, he's got that same swag, that aura, uh, the way he talks, the, the way he's done it. You know, all of the things that represent, um, you know, being a Raider. So he's he's the guy. How much influence are you hoping that the players have when it comes to hiring him as a coach for the next season? Like the player's word and what the players have to say, how much you hope that influences the brass? I mean, definitely hope it, it does. I mean, I don't know how much he, you know, even needs that. Um, and, you know, there's definitely different levels to um, the, the, you know, player's contribution to how things are going to go. It's not always going to just go a certain way just because everybody, but, you know, the right people are speaking to him, um, trying, to, trying to figure out what we're going to do moving forward. I think. Uh, there's a, I think there's a solid chance uh, just based off of the, you know what we've all seen and the way it's felt. So we'll see. What do you think the key is to make these types of outcomes more of the norm next year? More of what? More of the norm. Um, just establishing who you are early in the season. That way you can kind of carry that throughout the, the rest, and you're not trying to find your identity. You know, three quarters of the way through the season, or, or you know, at a halfway point. It's, by that time, usually, unless you snuck away with a couple of victories early on, which is it's hard to do if you're not playing good ball. So um, we just got to be more consistent early and I think that'll, that'll establish, help us establish who we want to be. Cool. We got a great locker room. We got great guys. The guys that love football, and uh, especially the second half of the year, you feel it, you see it. Um, dudes flying around and playing, playing at a high level. So just got to keep that momentum going and keep going in the right direction with what we have. How important was this to, to, to make this last down for, for Antonio? I mean, it's, it was huge. You know, we feel like we're, we're building something real special, so you just got to keep that intact. I ain't really thought about that too much right now, but, um, man, like I said, I just try to enjoy the guys, man, and, and especially the coaching staff, you know, the players. You know, next year it's going to be it's gonna be different. It's gonna be different for a lot of guys, and um, hopefully, you know, we keep AP and, and, and a lot of the guys come back from the coaching staff. But I just let them all know, man. It's, it's, it's been an honor to, to play with them, to learn with them, and um, you know, this back end of the season, man, it's just been it's just been real special as, as a group and as a, and as a team. So I just I let let the guys know that you know I'm just appreciative to being here. So I definitely enjoy. Have you been able to express to like the brass how much you guys want to get behind AP for this job? I mean, they hear it every time we get. I mean, I feel like every interview we try to you know. Uh, give him the praise, man, because at the end of the day, he he changed our team, man. And I know it might not have always looked like it on the on the stat sheet, but in the, in the locker room, the mentality, you know, the, the feel, the love, the joy, all of that, he, he changed our team. So that's just what it was. What did you think about?